Hey guys, I'm on a roll here. I just recorded my relaxer update and um, I went to Ulta yesterday. It's not too often that I go, but I do have one pretty close, like maybe um, 10 minutes away from my house. And I'm a little bit more of a Sephora girl, but I love me some Ulta too. So um, yeah, I've got a bag of stuff here and I just thought that I would do a quick little haul because um, it feels so good to be recording again. I'm like, why not? Let's do this. So I got a few things. And they're kind of varied, like there's little hair, there's little skincare, there's uh, some nail polishes, so let's just get right into it. So, I actually saw You Love Megs mention this, and she was using it on um, a wig of hers, but I got these two dry shampoos. Um, they were actually buy, buy one, get one free, um, and it's by the brand Eva NYC. And it's called the Freshen Up Dry Shampoo. Now, I was kind of wary of buying like a spray dry shampoo. They have like the little puff bottles that puff out powder. Or they have ones that you kind of just apply like that has like a little applicator nozzle. And those are the ones that I've used before because um, all the spray ones, like you know most hairsprays in general, they have like, they have alcohol. And so I felt weird about that. But at the same time... I tried another dry shampoo, and I'm maybe I'll compare them another time, but I tried another one. I've tried like the little ones that they kind of puff. Like it's like you squeeze the air. It doesn't shh. It's like a <laughs> You know what I mean? Like it's like little puffs of air that you manually use instead of like this aerosol can. But it's like I kind of feel like it, it was hard for me to like get it in the right place with the other one. And I think with this, with that you know, just seeing exactly where it's coming out. Like, I just feel like it'll be easier. To, let me just try it out right now. How far are you supposed to keep this from your head? Oh, 10 to 12 inches. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like that kind of went where I wanted it to. And it kind of ended up everywhere when I tried the other one. So, I don't know. I wanted some dry shampoo because... Um, my hair can get kind of oily and limp pretty fast like I wash once a week and even before that like after day as early as after day three I would say but definitely like days four or five and on um, my hair can just get very weighed down because I think my scalp produces like a decent amount of oil and so I just wanted to try one this one kind of smells like um, vanilla everybody was saying it smells really good and I was hoping it smelled like fruity but it smells like vanilla which isn't bad but I'll let you know how I feel about these as I use them. It was cool that they were buy one get one free. And I got, and it was so cool because like Target has a small size of the, um, of this. But like they also include like a perfume and some other stuff that like I didn't want. And I have never seen this sold single. So this is a Pacific, ugh. This is the Pacifica Tuscan Blood Orange Super Hydrating Hand Cream. So this one's called the Hand Cream. Um, I use the body butter um, that's sold at Target for like $15. And this was actually, I didn't, the price, I guess I didn't check the price or they didn't have it there at Ulta. Just for two ounces, this was like over six bucks, which I think, mm, I don't know. Next time I might just have to get a little travel bottle and squeeze my regular one into that, if you know what I'm saying, like two ounces. But anyway... I know that I love the scent of this, and this is this is a hand cream, so I guess this is going to be a little different from the body butter because it's not called the same thing. But I know I love this scent, and I wanted a, a size that could go, fit in my purse. So, yeah, I got that, and from the same brand, the same scent, I got a body wash. Target sells the body butter, but they I've never seen the body wash, and I looked on the Ulta website, and the eight ounce body wash, and the um, body butter, which the body butter alone sells for $15 at Target. And the body butter and this body wash on the Ulta site, they have like a little gift pack thing for like $20. That is awesome. Like, that's awesome. I almost just like ordered it. Like if they had $25 shipping right now, I probably would have ordered that. But they're, they're not doing that. You know, every now and then Ulta does like free shipping for $25. It's $50 right now. So... I don't know if they're going to keep that, but that's a that's a good deal. I would totally recommend this. Andrea's Choice talks about this scent all the time. And I, know, I wonder if she knows that it has a body wash. I'm so excited to try this. Yeah, so I got that. 
and I got I got two nail polishes and I am like such a sucker for seeing Zoya nail like Ulta carries Zoya Whole Foods carries a few Zoya and like otherwise I can really only get Zoya on blah. I sounded so New York just now I had to otherwise I can only get Zoya online so so um I'm like kind of a sucker for seeing it in person and this is the color Ginny. This is one of the pixie dust, look, pixie, I can't talk. This is one of the pixie dust ones and um, it goes on like textured. I'll have to do my nails with it and show you but look at that color. I, I love pinks like that. Like I love, it's coming across a little more metallic on camera but it's like a sparkly textured pink. And I like it. And I think I'm really going to like it. And I also got my first ever Butter London polish. These are so expensive, by the way. But, um, yeah. This is the color Saucy Jack. And I've really been wanting, um, like, a blood red or, like, wine red nail color for fall. And I'm not usually, like, so into like, oh, do this for fall and that for fall. As you can see, I'm still wearing bright ass lipstick. Like, I wear what I want kind of like year round. But then when you see other people like doing what's in trend for the season, you start to notice those colors look really nice, you know? So I wanted a color like this and I'm hoping that it translates on my nails the way that I expect. So this is called Saucy Jack. And I'm probably gonna do that next. My nails are really long, I need to cut and shape them. But anyway, um, that was my little Ulta haul. Um, shout out to Ulta. The last time, so this is kind of cheating because this is not the same shopping trip, but the time before this, when I was in Ulta, like last week or so, um, no, like a couple weeks ago, I decided to retry this. It's a 10, and I also bought like a shampoo by them. That's it, just a shampoo. Yeah, I didn't buy a conditioner like a rinse out conditioner, but this is their leave-in conditioner. And they have like a light, they have a keratin version, they have a Silk Express, they have like at least like a good four of these now. But this is the original, this is the original It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. And I used to use this, and I don't even really remember what had me stop using it. And I think that before I would, like the last time I was relaxed, I didn't know a whole lot about ingredients. So I would just kind of be like, okay, now I'm gonna try this. Like now, there's so many things I wouldn't even wanna try because um, they have glycerin and I stay away from products with glycerin or they have um, hydrolyzed wheat protein which no thank you like there's certain things that I stay away from now and um, but this this has awesome ingredients this is not so this has cyclomethicone as like the one two like the fifth ingredient or so uh, so that's a silicone but yeah there's this article i'll link it below and they, it was just it was saying um it named all of the or a lot of the it named several silicones that can be cleansed out of your hair by cocoa betaine and cyclomethicone is one of them so um cocoa betaine is in curl junkie daily fix which is what i wash my hair with most of the time so i'm not really concerned about silicone buildup because i can cleanse it out with that um yeah that's for another video i think but yeah shout out to ulta for getting me these awesome things lately like who knew that there was a pacifica blood orange body wash and i love this so much like i bought a two pack from target because i need this in my life forever the only complaint i have about it is that it, the smell is really strong. It's like this perfumey smell. It smells really, really strong. And I actually almost wrote to them and were like, can you bring down the fragrance on this thing? But you know what? Companies like to reformulate so much. I'm not going to encourage that. I leave it alone. I'll deal with the smell. When my hair is dry, I don't even smell it anymore. It's only like while it's wet and you're still like working with it that you can smell it. And it is pretty strong. Some people say that they stop using it because it's so strong. I won't be doing that. But it is a strong smell. Um, but I love this. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. The slip was like ridiculous like I'm totally gonna be abandoning my Oyen hairdo for this because it may detangle in a breeze and since my hair is under processed it's relaxed but it's under processed um, I get a good amount of tangling still like nothing like when I was natural but 
more than I have had with relaxed hair in the past. And um, this is making it so much better and yeah. So that's my little Ulta haul guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed. So talk to me, what else have I been missing at Ulta? Cause I felt like this trip just like opened up my eyes. Like Ulta's freaking awesome. So what do you guys love from Ulta? Um, I know I love shopping for um, false lashes there too. Cause they have a lot of Andrea and Ardell and um, I love those false lashes because they're inexpensive and the band is not too thick like they're pretty comfortable so especially like the um is it Ardell brand who does the Invisibands like very very thin band and very comfortable very um natural looking yeah so Ulta is pretty awesome lately let me know what you guys love from there whether it's um you know like bath skincare, um, hair, makeup, what are your favorite things that you specifically go to Ulta for? And, um, yeah. And, um, thinking about recording a, an updated foundation routine soon, because it's been so long since I've done one, so let me know if you guys would like to see that. And, um, anything else that I promised a long time ago that I kind of forgot about, let me know. Any requests you have. Um, Good to be back, guys. I will see you in my next one. Thank you for watching, and until next time, bye.